Complex, the first ever meeting between Virginia Tech and the Queens Royals underway, or maybe not. The second start of the season. Now Giuliano Luca back in the starting 11 after missing last match. He leaves it central. Yigi on adamant that they have to get off to a strong start today. There's Ken Yua. Lifts it back post. Ken Yua's ball flutters. Bester Holmes cycles around. Now Ken Yua. Roll through into the 18. Yoshizawa has a go. Yigi leaves it ahead. Right back to Yigi on the overlap. Can he turn one into the area? He does, but nobody on the other end. Leaves it out wide. Cardona now. Again, can you uh, can you uh, curls it in there? And Morris will send this in from the corner flag. Lofted ball over the head of Eidinge. Clearance comes back to Pompeon. Pompeon drills it back into the area. Stays in a day. See anything? I think it was good defending. Pantelli lifts forward. Headed by Aiden. Second ball flicked on by Felsman towards the backside. Oh, it hits the woodwork. It's the under. Homecoming for him. Oh, great first touch. Can you out? Leaves it ahead. And it's put into the back of the net. Do the flag stay down? It did. And Virginia Tech strikes first. And that's how quickly your fortune can change. A few minutes ago, it was Queens hitting the underside of the crossbar. And then Virginia Tech getting its first big chance of the match. It's a really clean touch. One on one with the keeper, picks his head up, finishes it in that bottom line. He said his team needs to score first. They're able to do that at the 12th minute. Now it's Luca looking to answer. Luca unleashes. First ever meeting between these two squads. It's not conference fixture late in the regular season as Pantelli floats it into the area. But we're going all out during that 20%. Well, we know what's about to happen here. Eidinge on the throw in. Both teams pleading for it. Kesti, who will send this one in. In swinger from Kesti. Dangerous ball. Headed central. Eidinge has a go. And Adams did just enough to shield his net. A beautiful work by Timmy Adams there in net. You mentioned this. Pompeon, nifty bit of skill. Blasts one back post. It is off of Virginia Tech. High level non conference opponents as well. As Pantelli puts this one back into play. Pantelli's ball off the head of Eidinge. And heads out. I'll leave it to his right. Cross plane in. Flicked in the back heel by Sullins. And does head out. 45. This is one back by the Royals. Ball does take a deflection. Feldman, the equalizer. He is red hot. Michelle Feldman, an absolute classy finish with the head in that scenario. The goalkeeper didn't look like he had a chance. Adams doesn't even get a touch on that. Taking a look at it again, it's a really nice win. And the, the head's directly up. Where is it looking? It's looking inside the box where Feldman has been. Yoshizawa turns into space. Yoshizawa lets it fly, parried away by Morris. Speaking of nice turns there, Yoshizawa, a beautiful turn. He gets it on his left foot. He tries to hit it across. Get back to it with Hensley. Carries over the midline. Connects with Sullins. Sullins rolls forward. It's a lovely ball. Yoshizawa slices and scores. It's clinical. It's composed. He has an opportunity there to shoot, but he, know he, he knows he has time. He knows he has space. He brings it onto his left foot, and he slots it home. John, that was a pretty goal. Second of the season for me, say Yoshizawa. Let's look back at this beautiful finish. And you'll see it here. He has an opportunity to strike with the right foot. No. He decides to move it over to his left, and then beautifully. Queens floats ahead. Yigi makes that run. Able to settle, Yigi strikes, Yigi scores! An equalizer for Queens! Zero Yigi breaks through and we're tied at two. It has always been coming this evening for Zero Yigi. He's playing fantastically and who other besides Michelle Feldman
connecting with his strike partner, hitting a beautiful pass over the top, giving Yigi the opportunity to cut back in on his right foot. You'll see it here. There's the ball by Feldman. It is absolutely perfectly weighted, cuts inside to his preferred right foot, and slots it home. Theo Drennan, lofted ball. Comes to Balak. Balak unleashes, and Morris is able to cover. A fortuitous bounce there puts Virginia Tech in a scoring opportunity. But it's the keeper, Evan Morris. Wipes the slate clean, keeps it out of the back of the net. And Queens is going to go into the, the second half tied here with ACC's Virginia Tech. What a first half of action, to say the least. Through 45 minutes, four combined goals. John, uh, every single year, including a handful of uh, postseason runs as well. So Mike Brizendine and company looking to get back to their winning ways. But right now, Queens. Cardona finds Vesterholm. Threads it back to the edge of the 18. Yoshizawa, one goal already. This time hit it right in here. Talked about that down season for the Hokies. Try to bounce back here in 2023. Long toss in from Quill. It's a dangerous ball, and it is headed home. Oliver Roche, his fourth goal of the season. The Danish striker adds to his impressive freshman tally. And that's really got to hurt for Queens, considering you just conceded a goal in the way that you've been trying to play. It's the long ball that has been your friend but it's now your enemy. It's a long toss into the box. It's uh, mid-September, so it's a new look back line as this ball served in towards Feldman and does head out for a goal kick. But you look at this back five for Virginia Tech. Three players, not defenders by trade, uh, who, who have been routine players in the lineup. We look back at this a 5-1 thrashing of Jacksonville last match. Pumpy on. Lovely bit of skill to slice through. Pumpion nearly equalized. It's the first save of the night for Timmy Adams. You saw Pumpion there. He realized he was in a position to cut in to that right foot. He does exactly that. Leaves the defender to behind. He takes a look up, sees where the keeper is. Strikes one to that near post. Pantelli who serves this one in. Pantelli's ball, back post. Oh, so promising moment here for uh, Sullins. Quill now goes to work. Sullins plays it through. Oh, what a brilliant idea. Hackenberg cannot finish. Morris all over it. A really pretty play. A nice buildup. Only one issue. Hackenberg at the end of this. You'll see him. Leaves it back for Balak. Balak a bit of space. Balak leaves it wide. One time strike. Just off target from Declan Quill. Substitution for the Royals. It was Yoshizawa there. He looked a little bit uncomfortable on that left foot. And then it was Balak next on that left foot. With Roche. One goal already. He'll let this one fly. You can see the intent. But it's not quite there. Uh, the intent. Well, non conference matchup. First ever meeting between these schools. Uh, here's Hensley, the hometown kid. Gets rid of it. Pew. Shuffles a bit forward. It's a dangerous moment. He's bombing into the box, too. Brown lifts it towards Eidinge. It's over his head in the backside. Pumping on on the half volley. And if Eidinge got some pur purchase on that, that ball, if it was a better ball. Final 60 seconds. Can Queens find an equalizer? Pumping on rolls it. And Adams, that was. All right. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And Virginia Tech hangs on. Three separate leads for the Hokies. It was not easy. Queens gave them all they can handle. John, a thrilling match. As you said, felt like a cup tie. Really did. Two teams playing.